That's okay. Here it is. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Steph Infection. With I'm very thrilled. We're new friends, and I'm yeah. forcing this on you right now. Melissa V. Sonor, thank you so kindly for coming. <laughs> Steph, you're so funny. <laughs> it's great to be here. You're so funny. You're great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to make no sense the entire podcast. Yeah, we just became recent. Um, ooh, did you just rip your eyeball out of your head? I know, my, my <laughs> eyeliner smeared it. Just her whole That's eyeball all. comes out. Um, that's why you're on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we just became recent. We saw each other at the store. Yeah. Because you're back now and doing yeah. stand-up. And I'll be honest, the first clip I saw of yours was the when you did the Bill Burr show on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that just went did so well right i mean it did well yes that, no i, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah. so because people fans of mine were like melissa you gotta check out steph and i and oh, i watched nice. and i was like cracking up i was like this is the best well isn't that nice yeah Hell they yeah. i'm surprised they let me say and do what i did on there good yeah no no no. because i was always like especially bill burr show yeah i know i'm That's not nice. bill is not gonna give a fuck what i'm saying out there <laughs> but because i could never do late night because late night is oh. like tailored to being clean and whatever. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm yeah. not doing seven minutes of some squeak or having <laughs> the men that run those uh, edit your set and add. People don't realize this, but if you do a late night, the people that book it change the jokes. They add tags. They move them around in ways oh, you wouldn't normally right. say them. And I'm like, that's not how I perform. Yeah. Having I've somebody... never done a late night. You haven't? No. Oh, shit. Hmm. <laughs> and no, after I, I just shit on the bookers. Yeah. <laughs> Hire Melissa, though. She she said nothing bad about, <laughs> about them. No, but it, I, it is true. There's so much uh, feedback, and you're like, now it's not even me. Yeah. yeah. Everyone I, I talk to who's yes. done a, a late night, because, you know, there's when you first move out here, that's the main thing you need to get people to know who you are or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And I came here from Canada, and I was like, who are you? Nobody cares. So they needed that late night set, and I was like, well, it's never going to happen. I, I, I will never get on late night. Like, Conan was the only one I was like, I maybe could. Yeah. But I was like, there's no way I'm getting on Corden or fucking. And also, Kimmel, the booker for Kimmel, like, he would go to festivals and be like, all right, everyone, guess what? He hates dirty. So if you're dirty, so I'm like, well, then I'm not all ever right. getting on. That's what annoys me, though. When it's when they're like, you what, Jimmy Kimmel, you don't fuck? <laughs> not Kimmel, sorry, not Kimmel, Fallon. <laughs> Fallon. Fallon's like, no, nothing, nothing dirty. Yeah, okay, Fallon. You go home at night, you kiss your wife's forehead, and you sleep in a separate twin bed. Like, it's bizarre. I hate when people are like, no, no dirty. Okay, well, let's just do carpool karaoke for the for, to the end of time, because that's what us comedians find funny. Have you done carpool karaoke? No, no. <laughs> okay, I, I wish. That'd be so fun. You'd be but good I, on that. I'd love to sing. You're very good at singing. You sang on stage the night at the store. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you watched my set. Yeah, I did the. I've been doing this karaoke bit. Yes, it kills. I, 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 I choose. I don't choose the hot songs. I choose what's fun for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just been so fun. It is. Um, that's. Uh, it's fun to watch comics that you don't get to see a lot too. Because I never like. Oh, thanks you've been for on watching SNL, my set. And I, you know, I've seen you on there, but I've never seen you like you know do stand up, and it's fun. Yeah, but I, lately I've been getting a little dirtier. But in my own way. Yes. And it feels good to just get, just talk more about things. <laughs> you, I was going to bring this up because it also <laughs> is like Steph Infection related, but you, you talked about oh, putting a little my, something beside the bed. My boogers. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, and I, you said, I even at the back, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> Melissa. Like, I, I never heard you talk like that. And it wasn't even that, even the crowd was like, <gasps> And I was like, I'm about to go up and dip sometimes my pussy in their face, but <laughs> sometimes they're so sensitive. Even my like, cause sometimes on the road, I'm like, come on, guys, let's. They're not used to me getting a little nasty. I'm like, you got to get used to it. And I'm, hey, that's this is who you are now. It's also not even that nasty I when know. you think about it. I fling them. Yeah, and everyone does. Yeah, if you're gonna sit here thing. and act like you don't fucking pick your nose, you're, that's yeah, stupid. You're yeah, you're like, well, what are you gonna? If you don't have a tissue, you put it in your pocket. Yeah, that's like, it. That's what you do. Yeah, you're not. I mean, <laughs> wait, wait. Or wait. Well, sometimes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sometimes, wait, wait. <laughs> sometimes I do that. You a single one you put in your pocket? If if I don't have a <laughs> tissue. <laughs> oh no, no, you're flicking it. Well, I don't sometimes care where I, I am. flick. Sometimes when I'm driving, I fling them, and sometimes I'll just put them on the little, <laughs> the side of the door. God. Sometimes, and then I get rid of them. But. Why wouldn't you always fling them? I'm always flinging. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it just <laughs> depends on my mood. Okay. I guess not, if I'm in a flinging not. mood or if I want to keep it for a little. <laughs> Key, you're not ready to say goodbye yet. You're going to keep it for a little longer. Did you ever have those kids when you grew up that had like the walls that they'd a smear boogers. it on? A booger wall? I remember a kid. Man. I, I feel like, like my lot. brother Andy maybe. 
Uh, a booger wall. I had a little booger wall. I caught my boyfriend picking his nose because he's like a really big mustache. Oh, and I was yeah. like, I walked in the bathroom. I go, excuse me, what do we have here? Because he was just oh. standing in front of the mirror doing it. And I was like, <laughs> we, he didn't eat it. I don't know why I did that. I mean, did that. He did not. He did not eat it. But as but a I, kid, I, oh yeah, as a kid, we all ate it. Everyone yeah, ate. I was see kids. It also, so gross to see a kid do that. Like I can gag now. Yeah, yeah, Watching yeah. Watching him just go. Ugh. But he's picking them, and I'm like, what are you doing? And he goes, oh, and he was like embarrassed. He's like, what? And I'm like, you're picking your nose. He's like, yeah, I don't want him to get my mustache. I blow it, so I have to pick them out. And I'm like, he's gonna kill me for saying this out loud, but. Yeah, I mean, no, but I if checked we out. Have a mustache, yeah. we wouldn't yeah. want him to you, to take a little parking no. spot there. <laughs> I mean, you might, you might want to save it for later. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> we don't know You're for quick. sure. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know for sure. But yeah, I feel like <laughs> I, I always fleck. But you, yeah, you have a joke about leaving them beside your bed. Yeah, and then <laughs> sometimes in the middle of the night, if I'm if one's blocking my little my breathing pathway, I go oh, and I put it on my <laughs> nightstand and I tell myself I'm half asleep. I'm like, Melissa, well, throw it away in the morning. Don't be nasty, okay? And then I forget, and the <laughs> yeah, little yeah, bugger's yeah. there for months. Just, That's it. Yeah. Just hang. <laughs> this is a test. And then I add exactly a voice to the bugger. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to. Then the bugger has a whole <laughs> situation where it's like, I, I just want to get out of here, and you're not letting him go. It's a whole thing. I know. But, oh. man. So I was looking at the questions for the Steph Infection yes. rundown. It's a rundown. The... The I don't have like a horror story that I know of like a a bodily body, really? body thing. That's like my favorite but question. I, but I do have a thing that I that um, I don't know what it is. You know, like skin tag or pop up pimples and stuff. Yeah, I like to scratch them off till they bleed. Till they bleed. Yeah. Or just like to get rid of them. Like I, I like to get rid of. You no, know, I, I put I remove my skin tags myself. I'm not yeah, keeping them. Yeah, yeah. And I remember ex boyfriends of mine sometimes when they're sleeping, I just <laughs> do a little I scratch. Just can't scratch. Stand, I just want that. Yeah, that's like a body thing that I that you do. do. Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> and then but you just, save them for later. The little skin tags oh beside my the God, bed. God, I like, save I'll everything throw you for out in the morning. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I would like do a thing where like I'm, if I'm scratching my boyfriend's back, you know, guys like the other back scratch. And I, I, the other day I was doing a little too hard and he's like, oh, he's like, you're scratching. I'm like, I don't want to tell him. I'm like, yeah, you have a, a pimple that I'm trying to like, I felt a bump or something. I was yeah. like trying to get rid of it. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, sorry, I, I'll leave more soft. But in my head I was like, do you ever pop like other people's pimples? No, but I remember as a kid, my brother, when we were kids, he, he we were watching cartoons and we were barefoot, you know, and his foot was near my face. Like, like he was on one couch and I was on the other. And his face is near me, and I see it's a little athlete's foot, like little bubbles mm-hmm. or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I just started picking it with the stick. With a stick? Or something. <laughs> something. Like, I don't know if it was have? a fork or if it was a oh, stick. Oh, wow. But I liked just, and Get he didn't, in there. I don't think, I think he was so into, into the, the cartoon, cartoon like, that I don't did. care. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby did, there's no, but, uh, what was the question again? About popping somebody else's oh, stuff. I used to like. Yeah, no, I don't think I've popped someone else's pimples. Never. I used to go through. I used to really like doing it when I was in like, oh. high school, like my sister's back or whatever. I get in there, but then recently, my mom. She's gonna kill me for saying this, but she has like this. She thought it was cancer, and I was the closer. I'm like, that's a big fucking blackhead. Oh. She's like, no. I'm like, it's a blackhead. It's right on her like bra line. I'm like, no. And ooh. I kind of did a little like, ooh, uh-oh. Yeah, and then and it then popped out? A little bit. And then I gagged. And then I was like, oh, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I was like, ooh, my God. And then my dad was like, what's going on here? And then he's like, oh, let me get in there. So then my dad's getting in there. He used so much force. This is so disgusting. He popped it so hard. We all jumped back. It hit the ceiling. <laughs> it from like, I swear to God, it was, I'm going to gag thinking about this. It literally shot up. The, the force of my dad's fucking Bulgarian thumbs going, <laughs> And getting in there, and I'm oh, sorry, I woke the dog. And then it's shooting. That's a lot. Also, her for months saying it's cancer. I'm like, it's not cancer. You oh, have man, a blackhead that you need to pop. Okay, though. She's but, fine. But yeah. that is a funny. I wish that was filmed. I, it I it would have been. Ceiling? So, oh, it was so gross. And then my dad was so pissed on the ceiling. He's like, no, it's gonna stain. And now he's like getting the chair. It was a whole thing. It was a really large ordeal. Did it yeah. stick up there? Oh yeah, it stuck up there because it was, it was so much. Oh. And it was like it was like kind of wet, but also kind of like thick because it's been in there for so long and she like works out a lot so her sports bra has yeah, been yeah, rubbing yeah. it oh that must have been so have irritating good. yeah and it and felt free when it finally yeah. left but i was like because i think she said she went to the doctor i'm like did they not notice that you had a full <laughs> giant blockhead i'm like i don't wow. know how you would have noticed i didn't that. think they could get that big oh yeah no it was sometimes you see like no, i feel like my snot's no no out. it's okay I'm like, <laughs> you gotta flick them <laughs> <let> them out <laughs> Sometimes when you like when you're dating somebody and you're like up close and you can really see they have like big a lot of comics I see have big blackheads in their face and I want to be like just go on the pop. I know. 
get or, rid of or it. Or go get a little facial or my yeah, yeah, son. yeah. Do you pop your own though? If you have like, if I see him, I try to yeah. squish him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's weird if you leave them. Yeah, no. Do you ever have pimples on the dog? My dog's been getting some white heads on her stomach. <gasps> and you've been I, pip- I popped one of them. I had. To. I felt bad. It was like so big. Yeah. It was like, and I kind of did like a light, and I like yeah. wiped it away, and it was fine. Hmm. She didn't notice. Yeah. I was like petting her at the same time. Like, <laughs> disgusting. Does your dog get gross things? Because mine gets the nastiest shit in the world. Um, no, pretty, Penny's pretty good. Um, her dog's here. That's why I'm referencing yeah, my, her dog. Yeah, my dog is here. <laughs> was, uh, no, she's pretty good. She, but I can tell when she, when she licks my face, I could smell if she's been licking her, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a face licker. Yeah. Okay. And I sometimes don't mind the smell you, really <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's so sick is it like uh, the normal breath or the the puss eating breath i think her, it's the, the puss. Yeah. <laughs> how how often she eating my dog sucks on her clit i swear to god she goes to <laughs> town on it she literally is down there at a, at a rate that it's alarming it's yeah. too much also, yeah. she's a hood, hood of labia, which is a real thing that I've talked about already in this podcast. But she, my dog is a hood of labia, so she, yeah, she is like when she's born, she had like a big because she gave in UTIs as, as a puppy, oh. and I was like, what the fuck? And then I went in, they were like, oh yeah, there's an extra little lip, the lippity lip on the old puss, Whoa. yeah, mm-hmm. overbred dogs. That's what happens when you have a golden retriever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. But she does like she's a she's a gross pig eating shit she's eating anything off the ground she ate plastic the other day she just didn't stop they don't stop yeah they're gross i know but the puss eating and i guess it's mother like daughter yeah like, <laughs> yeah she also licks her butt a lot and then that yeah, smells like not her bad. mouth it just all of a sudden her butt will stink because she's like excited it does your dog do the like the wiping is uh, dragging its butt on no the no 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 my cat does uh, really does yeah. it need the glands i think so Oh, it's because I... I need the glands squeeze. The only thing... The thing is with cats, it's like, it's going to be a nightmare to, to pack her up and take her to a yeah. vet. Ella is not not going to be down with that. No. Is it like a little... Like, cats are, are tough. How long not, you had the cat? I, I think she's 14 now, 15. Okay. So it's kind of like, well, at this point... Is Ella looking... <laughs> Sorry, Ella's... Bed. Oh, oh, Penny... She what did you something. find? She's oh, something. paper. Okay. All right. I thought she was looking at her puss. I'm like, <laughs> that is f- actually violently loud right now. I don't know I'm blaming Susan for being loud. And Penny's in there <laughs> sucking it dry. I feel like I, every video I see online of a cat at a vet, it's them getting attacked and then like holding down this cat. Like Yeah. And it's important. They're, they're, they're even afraid at mm-hmm. vets. They're like, I don't know how to grab her. No. They're scary. And you don't want to do it yourself. Have you ever Googled squeezing no, dogs? Do it? No. Well, not dog, but I think it's the same as cats. I don't uh, think you want well, to do that. I, I take her to get groomed and and bathed, and they do the whole mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, it's it's so like ten dollars to do that. Yeah, to, for the extra squeeze for of the, the butt. Squeezing, yes. Doing it yourself. My friend had a little chihuahua, and she like Googled how to do oh, it, no. and she called me, and she was like gagging, and I was like, "What's going on?" She's like, "It's you have to put gloves on, and when you do it." The smell is like intense and it's so much because there's like stuff built up. I don't know exactly what's in there. Not a, I sound like I know way too much about dogs' anuses right now, but when they squeeze it out, it's that like. That makes sense. Yeah. Can you imagine we had that? If we had someone every once in a while, we had to get someone to squish it out. <laughs> that actually probably feel pretty good. Have you ever had your butt waxed? What? Feels good. Have you ever had your ass waxed? No. Really? No. Oh, you gotta go. Why? It's fine. It's good. Really? The front kills. The front is like a whole fucking. That's too there's sensitive, no, need. no. Not the ass. The ass is strong. Oh, it's strong back there. It's like elephant hide. You wow. get back there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it does look like an elephant it hide. Does. <laughs> it does. You spread that puppy open. Right. You don't feel shit. Two and, strips. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's it. And when you fart, it's funny. It sounds different. When it's cleared in the oh, rim. Oh, yeah. You're cleared in there. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little. It's like a trumpet. It's like a, <laughs> like it's yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's a whole band back there, and it's just the wipes are nice. It's nice. Wow. Yeah. Now I want to go do it. Okay. Should get my ass waxed live on the podcast. <laughs> Everybody wants to come wax the old ass. That'd be great. Uh, yeah. But do you have a specific body thing that you? Because you mentioned something at the store when I brought this up to you. Wait. What did I say? The, about the the pee. 
Oh, oh, my pee thing. I forgot about that. You know what? My when I read the question, I thought it was like horror story, like something. No, the general. To, no, no, the just, general one is like the the yeah, just whatever. Any body thing at all that you've had. That's kind of like weird. Oh, Doesn't yeah, that be disgusting. Definitely. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. my pee problem, and I talk yeah. about this in my comedy too. It's you know, as when I'm I'm the type of person. When someone cracks me up, and I just love laughing, and it's the best. Mm. But I, when, when, uh, and I haven't gone to the restroom in a bit, and someone really makes me laugh, I pee the whole, the whole bucket. I can't. The, all of it comes out. All of it. I can't just be like, oh, I could stop and control. It's all. So as a little kid, like when. Uh oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, Penny. No. I'm sorry. Come here. <laughs> Ah, oh, you ruined my story. You, Penny. Penny. Um, so you yeah, pee so a lot when you laugh, yes. Yeah, and it would happen a lot when I was a little kid, and I hated it. I, I would leave little puddles of pee around at, at birthday parties, you know, and I'd run from them. And you know, Did you I, tell people about the pee piles or you just left no, them? No, I left them. Okay. Wow, I see the the pattern. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing them, really? Yeah. <laughs> There's a pattern um, here for sure. But I... And I would be, I was just filled with embarrassment at that time. And I would, I was, I had the pattern. I was so used to drying my pants in the sun, waiting for them to get crunchy, just because that was, mm-hmm. that's how, I, you know, I lived. And then <laughs> when I realized I was going to be a comedian, which is pretty young, like in my, my teenage years, um, I, then I started just owning it. I was like, I'm just going to pee. If I pee, I'm a, it's okay. It's funny. Yeah. And, um, there was there's a lot of there's a lot of stories of me peeing around, but the the best one I think is when I I peed on my cousins in a bounce house. It was um, it was like sixteen house. years old and the sixteen yeah fifteen or sixteen oh yeah and young. I and I went to my cousin's birthday party. They had a bounce house on the front lawn, and I was like I'm going in hell yeah. And the little kids are like you're too big, you can't pee in here. And I'm like no I can't. And I was just like having being a, a bully. And then uh, one of the kids def- unplugged it. It, it, there, it was just something my cousins would do for fun. Mm-hmm. And so then it would sink, you know. And since I was the heaviest person in there, I'm the main dip. So all the kids at the like, birthday party were f- on top of me. <laughs> yeah, so that, oh, no. And think of kids at birthday parties, sticky candy hands, oh, smelly yeah. butts and oh. socks. So I'm, I'm, I'm just taking it and I just start laughing because I can't move. All these smelly kids are, and then I go, I'm peeing, I'm peeing, no, blah, blah, blah. and then they're like, she's peeing, no, <laughs> and then they plugged it back in and went, you know, the bounce house went boing back, and I landed on the window netting part, and the pee also got on the sidewalk. Oh my God! It was, it was that much. It was that much. So now, when the kids are bouncing, is there like pee <laughs> drips going everywhere? Like, is it like a little splash? Oh, I, I guess so. I didn't think it's about a splash that. Splash pad now. Yeah. 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 They're bouncing the piss. Yeah. I feel like wow. we're gonna bond over this. I also have a pee problem. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Wow. I have I have been peeing since a young. You're not kid. alone. No, like, it's I'll again this. the big laugh. Right, right. One time I peed in a Wendy's. My friend okay. put a tomato on my cup, and I don't know why it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I pissed all over the Wendy's seat. And I was on a tour bus with a dancing group. So we had to go back. We had to rewrote and go back to the hotel because I had to get a new pair of pants because I had pissed my pants. Again, yeah. 14, I think it was the time. Yeah, yeah. Another time, I think it was about maybe about 15, <laughs> similar. In Scotland, I used to Highland dance. Bizarre. And I was on the second floor, and we weren't allowed at like 8 p.m. bedtime, competition in the morning. So me and my friend were still wanted to gab so she scaled the outside wall of this we were staying in like a dorm the second floor she scaled the outside she's like i'm coming over i'm like yeah right miranda her hand comes over her foot comes over and then i look outside and she's literally <laughs> scaling like it was so fucking dangerous and i was like miranda stop i'm peeing and i was like on the desk holding her because i was scared she's gonna die and I, I couldn't let her go so i pissed all over the desk and she came in and she's like what the fuck I'm like, i told you i was fucking peeing like i pissed and then i pissed um i pissed three weeks ago I went to see a concert and I pissed my pants in the mosh pit. I was Whoa. moshing and I was like moving around a lot and yeah. then the piss came out. Well, you know. Maybe we need to do Kegels. That might be a problem. Yeah. That could be it. I'm doing them right now. Are you? Should yeah. I do them right now? Yeah, good. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm doing them correctly. I don't understand how to just center that area. It's almost like, you know. Okay. Uh, okay. This is... <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. But I feel like I'm doing the whole area. Like I feel like my butt's also squishing in. Yeah, I guess mine too. Okay, because if you're just doing just the pee hole, I feel like that's I can't center that away from everything else. Yeah, I can't separate it. I think it's the whole okay. package or nothing. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> people are saying they do Kegels and they're just like isolating that area. I'm like, there's no way. Yeah, no, I'll squeeze it all. Aaron, do you know what a Kegel is? Okay. <laughs> I think a lot of women, I had a, one woman say she does it, I yelled it out at a show once and she's like, yeah, I do it all the time. I'm like, for who? She's like, men. I'm like, I'm not doing Kegels for men. I'm doing Kegels for my own piss to stay in there. Oh. For like your your puss to get tighter, I guess. Oh, mm-hmm. that's good. That's a muscle. It's a, You got to work that work muscle. I'm not working that muscle. Muscles, it's, you get what you get now. Yeah. What, what, what's down there is what's down there. I'm not changing it up for people. Right. You come yeah. in, you flop around, you, you get out. You flop around, you have fun, and yeah. you go home. You come in as like a bounce house. <laughs> there might be a bit of pee in there. Probably some netting. <laughs> Something sticky for sure. And then you get out of there. And then, you, then it runs onto the sidewalk, and then you get the hell out of there. That's that, As it turns out, that's, that's how that works. It seems... Do you have other body things, though, that aren't, like, gross? Because, yeah, I, I guess also the title yeah. of this podcast makes it, Inf- you think that it's going to be gross. Yeah, I know, but uh, body things, okay. Like, it could be, like, a break as a kid, like a... A what as a kid? Like, a, like breaking something as a kid or having a weird, like, hospital visit or... Oh. I know kids are always doing weird shit. You know, I was a little creepy, probably, because I didn't really overdo it. I was very, like, gentle with things. I wasn't a wild kid. Okay. So I didn't thankfully break any bones. Did you play sports or anything? Mm, I mean, just sometimes in the backyard with my, my brothers and my sis, we play basketball and soccer and stuff. But at a certain point, I would give up and then just go <laughs> like, outside. And that's that. And there it is. <laughs> and they hated it because there's four of us. So then every time I would bail, it was just, you know, because oh, it would yeah, be two yeah, and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's annoying. I'd be like, God, well, this is such a... Or sport. <laughs> you're like, I'm just not in the mood anymore. I'm going to go read anymore. some Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't read that stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. Do you do Shakespeare plays at school? No, I don't understand that stuff. It's weird that that's still happening. I don't under. Why are you talking like that? No, I don't get it. I did two of them in high school. I'm like, I don't oh. know what I'm doing. Yeah. Very odd. Like, how do you have the feelings behind all that those words I didn't I uh, right. I luckily got to play Nick Bottom and they got me this really realistic donkey head oh and uh, I trotted around in that oh thing. you were a donkey I was Nick Bottom oh, oh but he also I don't know he played a donkey it was a play in a play it was very confusing oh. I didn't get what's going on yeah, I could yeah, memorize yeah. my lines but that's but, all that's all it was and I was like I don't know what's happening but that was the beginning that was great that was the beginning yeah. and then I got to trot around yeah. and I went to the crowd and trotted yeah. around and that was that and that was the, I, the whole play was around me trotting and I took it for way too long I remember my teacher being like get back right, right, I was like wrap it up yeah I was trotting through with this giant donkey head that they're like don't wreck this it was $2,000 to rent and I was like mm-hmm. <laughs> so stupid did you do? Be one, you said you wanted to be a comedian early. Yeah. Well, I, I started doing a lot of singing impressions when I was like 12, 13 years old. And okay. I would make my friends laugh. And I mean, I, I was like, oh, this is a gift, I guess, you know? And then I, I did the Laugh Factory Comedy Camp when I was 15. Like, I was, oh. I was like already like, well, this is what I want to do. I was already watching SNL. I was like getting, I was oh, shit. really obsessed with it. And, um, and then I just started open mics right after I graduated high school. Oh, wow. I went to the Ha Ha Cafe. The ice house, the annex room. I was, that was where, yeah, it oh, started. Oh, shit. In there. Hey, Penny, stop. I didn't know there was a, a Laugh Factory camp. Yeah, it's for kids. Yeah. <laughs> I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> I assume, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go take it now. I'm not like, hey, what's the contact for this Laugh Factory camp? I'm looking to do a, a summer internship where I'm by far the oldest person there. <laughs> Creepy as hell. Jesus Christ! So is it like kids. a yeah? Is it like a date? Like what the? Um, do we bring our own like lunches? On, or? It was in the summertime. It was every Saturday for a few months or something. My parents would drop me off. They would provide food, and we got like five minutes of stage time. Oh, and then you know, big comics would come by and give us advice, like oh tips really? On our bits, but well, I wasn't cool. funny in any way. I was. If anything, I was annoying. I think, Penny. That's what you get. I didn't hit her or anything. Yeah, no. She just saw, I, I, she just yeah. saw my shoe. Dogs, they're crying. They, 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 she's over the dramatic. Top. It's crazy. I don't even touch her. She'll go, ah! 
No, it's nuts. Oh, Have you seen the videos where there's one video where a guy was on crutches and he was like limping and then the dog was limping and they thought the dog had broke its foot and then they took the dog to the doctor like, no, the dog was limping because you're limping. Like, it's oh, crazy. Wow. Yeah, no, dogs I are know. stupid. They're, just... <laughs> They're dumb. It's annoying. Then I get mad and then I'm like pissed off and I'm like, I hurt her and then nothing even happened. I know. The and then people money. out in public will be like, what'd you do? And I'm like, Nothing. Nothing. She literally got like a little sliver in her foot. She's like, ah, limping. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you right now. You stood on a rock the wrong way. And this is a big ordeal. Then a minute later, she's sprinting on the ice. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. That's interesting. I don't know. Okay, that's, that's fun. There's a camp. And then. So oh, you're, yeah. So, what were we talking about? Yeah, I was going to say. So you were, uh, you were probably, this is like, you know, starting comedy and being like, I want to do SNL is my dream. And then getting it. That must be the craziest feeling in the world. It is pretty wild. Right? Like yeah. starting, like I obviously wanted to do SNL when I started comedy. Yeah. That's why I, I wanted to do sketch. I started in sketch and improv and here I am now uh, yelling at men on stage uh, during my stand-up. <laughs> you know, everyone's dream takes a turn sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I think you'd be so good on that show. Look, you know what? I've been told this and I can't no. get an audition, so I don't know what to tell you. You know, we've been trying for years here and you know, you can't I mean, force look, people to like you. That's I mean, what I've realized. I, I will spread the good word you of You please don't have to. I no, just... No, I know, but you, it just, I, I, I will. Well, that's nice of you but i just feel like uh you know i i feel like at this point he would have lauren would have known who i went also i'm canadian so i feel like i'm like come just on just give me an audition i'm canadian <laughs> i don't have to tell you yeah. hello look you can't force people to like you and that's fine um also i feel like i'm too old now no Me- no mentally that. like, mental, oh, oh, like oh, mentally and physically ti- i'm no. tired i'm sleepy like well, i think we were talking about when you first got back it was like i like you were away all day. You're you're not home. You're you're doing it's every day in the night and the the, it's, the hours are nuts. The amount yeah. of work you guys put in is so crazy to me. It, it it was pretty wild, and I think that's where I'm like I can't the energy of it. I'm like I, I that's it's every hour of every day it's and then too much. you have and then, one day and off. then you get sick of yourself. You're like I'm not. This is too much of like being funny, being funny every day. Mm-hmm. Like I need a break sometimes. Yeah. I'm like I don't. I don't want to, I don't feel funny today. Isn't it? That is a wild thing that we can't get away from. Yeah. Because that's it. We are funny people and we, oh, that's our job. So there's, there's days where I'm like flying out to do a, a weekend somewhere and I'm in a bad fucking mood or something <laughs> happened. I'm like, I'm not in the fucking mood. Like I found yeah. out one day on the way to the store, my friend died and I was a little, and uh, at the store last week, another comedian Passed away no. right before one stage. They're like, oh, you know, so and so died. I don't, I don't want to say her name, but I was like, what? And then I was like, um, and then I got like so emotional. I was like, what? Oh, and then I went on I stage and I was I like, know. you I think know. I know what I'm talking about? I was like, it's yeah. just like, what the fuck? And now now I have to be funny still. Like, sometimes we're just not in the mood. I know. And it's like, we have to impress people constantly. It's what it's a, that it's one weird wild. job where it's like, it, it is wild. Mm hmm. What are we doing? I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> I know. But it, it's funny. That I noticed now, like, I had dinner with my parents the other day, and uh, I think my mom thinks I'm a loser now or something because I'm not on the show. I'm not on SNL anymore. And she's like, well, what are you going to do now? And I'm like, well, I'm going to take piano next month and ceramics. And she just goes, uh. <laughs> I'm like, these are, it, but it's like, I suddenly feel like, oh, I'm not doing, but I, I don't think, I don't think that's the case. I it's, think it's not so important the case to be, to, the only way you get creative is by doing other things. And yes. And we just to stay on it forever. Expand. Yeah, no. Isn't Keenan Thompson the only guy who's done no. that? Like, don't you, you, you leave after you like, wanna, like a few years. I, yeah. I don't. And that was something last year I felt, I remember t- complaining to my brother. I was like, Mikey, I I'm so tired of looking up celebrities. Yeah. What are they up to? Who can I imitate? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to live like this. Shit. But you can imitate pretty much anybody. No, I you? mean, Which I is... have some good impressions. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And that was one thing. I I want to be clear. I love that I could do voices. I love doing, I do it all the time. All Voices all the time yeah. in my stand-up and stuff. And in my daily life. Yeah. But I just, did, I just think that pattern of like finding new ones to learn. I just was like, I can't keep up. It's nonstop. Yeah, and it's also just like I don't want to be doing that my whole life. Like, huh. even if it was, even if that was a, a you know, oh, being one of the best impressionists. Like, I don't. I'd rather be funny and, and talk about myself and stuff. Yeah, too. yeah, and then pull it out when you. Yeah, it it'll yeah, sprinkle yeah. in. Do you ever get like? Do you ever go into like a <clears throat> your th- like throat and like do you ever like, get sore throats and stuff from doing like some? Yeah, stuff? has that ever happened? 
Oh like, yeah, you've gone too hard on one, and you, um, like, well, you yeah. I mean, voice. there is a cartoon I voice right now, um, and the bird I play, her voice is like, oh, oh, watch out, no, and it's and I and it's really so. Sometimes there's been sessions where I've gone for two or three hours, and at the end of the day, I'm like, oh, oh shit, this actually really was kind of painful. Oh fuck. So now, but we worked it out to where it's like, okay, keep the the sessions an hour. Yeah, or yeah, that's nice. But um, have you ever done this? This is okay. I feel mm. like I've done this before, where I go into the audition and I, I read it away thinking that I can continue on with this whatever this voice is like uh-huh. I'll send in like a self tape of like a voice that I'm like hey look at this and then I, uh-huh. I like if I the off chance I would book it I go in I'm like what did I do that for I can't do this or it's like I, I hear it back and they're like that's not what it sounded like before I'm like I know I don't know why I did that oh. but I think you have so many good registers and you can do so many different impressions that you probably don't ever come across that where you're like no why would i do something that i can't fucking do over oh, oh back again yeah yeah, yeah again yeah. and like or consistently for a long time like i'll do i did i read something today for something with a brooklyn accent and i'm like oh i think i can do this and then after i was yeah. like i don't know if i do a brooklyn accent an entire season what was i thinking that was crazy <laughs> what the hell am i doing well, you here? have like breaks you know yeah but then, I, <laughs> but then i worry i'm like why would i i don't know i feel like you probably don't have that because you like can do so many yeah i oh i think i could I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm okay. <laughs> You've never had that thought. You're like, no, no, I know what I'm setting an audition in for. I'm not going to do some wild thing. That's insane. I've been trying to break in the cartoon. Yeah. But I just, to play, because it's like, I don't have. No, it's not even that. But also, myself. Your, your own voice is that's more, it. that's the best, I think, for most cartoons. That's what they want. Anyway. Yeah. We're, you know? Is, is it? Cartoon yes. people? Are you listening? Yeah. No, I've been doing like one cartoon I, the guys brought me in for like three times for like different roles i'm like once you get in with you just got to get in with those certain people yeah that's yeah it. you weasel your way you weasel yeah. your way in, in. <laughs> weasel and that's it but that must have been such like a like when it happened with your family like and everyone like so fucking oh like crazy it was beautiful it was beautiful uh my yeah i was i was crying and i and i of course. felt like i entered like a dreamland that wasn't here mm-hmm. it was, and even when i left the show when I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave in, in August. I had the feeling when I said goodbye and stuff on the phone, and I, I felt that same feeling of, oh shit, I left a little spaceship or something, because it was such a, oh yeah, bubble of, I don't know. But, you, you, it feels almost out of body. Yeah. Like when you're doing this, something that's yeah. so wild. But yeah. then when you're in it, you're just like, no, this is normal. This is a it's normal thing. This yeah, is my yeah, job. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that must be like, and how long were you on? Six years? Six, yeah. Shit. Yeah. That's wild. That was good. Yeah, that's, it's a great run. <laughs> I, I mean, that's run. like, I think that's a, a long run. Yeah. <laughs> I assume that that's, somebody just, my manager told me that because she has people on there now, um, and just like, she's like, oh yeah, you know, they wrap at like 1, one thirty, and then I'll head over to the party at 3. I'm like, I'm sorry, you're leaving your house at 3 a.m.? Uh-uh. What's going on here? It's, and then I've noticed that when I would get so sleepy, I start going cross-eyed. This is a true thing. And I would go to after parties, and I'm like, "Oh no, it's happening! I got to go home." And just like, full. And I, can't, I can't be like flirting or, or hanging out partying. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to go cross-eyed, so I'm. It must be hard also have a relationship during that if you're not like if you yeah to date if you went in there it's single. It's intense, and I, I felt like I had a boyfriend. I mean, I I've dated dated too many, but I yeah I don't think it. For me, it wouldn't. It didn't work out. It's uh, when, when would there be time? Yeah, you better wipe your own ass. You're supposed to be going on dates with people. Like, what, what the hell? When's it? and the whole time you be like, what thinking of sketches? Like, huh? oh yeah, nice to meet you. Sorry, I'm thinking of uh, my yeah. next impression that I have to work yeah, on the yeah, second yeah. I get home tonight. No, it was it was it's wild. Impossible. Yeah, it's it crazy. crazy. Well, you said you had four, three siblings. Mm-hmm. And did your parents ever say weird things to you growing up? Like weird. <sighs> well, I was thinking. I mean, this is a common one, but. If I was making a wacky face, they'd be like, stop doing that. Your face is going to stay that way. And I would believe it. So, so you wouldn't do but, it anymore. But wait, what, what other things? Like, oh, a lie, you said? Yeah. Like, they've said? Yeah, like a fib. Like that kind of thing where they were like, you know, say something to scare you from doing something or like. Oh. Penny, you're just sucking back that tape, huh? Penny. <laughs> those are placements for the furniture. <laughs> you Penny's eaten like, them. I don't care. I ate them. Oh. 
My grandma told me a story once that oh I don't have any more. Yes. That um what? a dog she knew uh, she knew a, my her dad saw a puppy one time start eating a bag of cement, and then just kept eating it until it died. <gasps> Horrible story. I don't know why she shared that story with me. I'm like, what is this? What is the lesson from this story? Oh, she was, she was so sweet. Whoa. Oh, I can't handle the dog. Look at They're the underneath. Oh, that's oh, do, the do, best. Do, 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 do,
Uh, <laughs> a bug story? Oh, yeah. Susie um, Stellar, a porn star, was on here, said that she sucked a guy's dick. I'll wait till you put the water down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm ready. And I'm she, ready. like, took her mouth off his penis, and there was a tick on the head of his... <laughs> Oh, I know. I need to share this with somebody else. I'm like, if you've listened to that episode, go back and listen to it. But it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I always have like nightmares of like, you know, you go to Mexico or something and like you like have yeah. something calls in your ear or like you get a bug under your skin. Like that always fucking freaks the hell out of me. Yeah. But the lice, you'd see them just walking around. Like, same with fleas. You're talking fleas before? Um, No. Oh, really? Oh, you I mean, lucky. I do those, the, the monthly, that tablet. Yeah. Dogs take, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give Susan the old Brevecto six week. Pill, yeah, whatever I think mine's Sympatica Trio. That's oh, a, excuse me. It's like a trio. Yeah, well, well, well. Yeah, I know. Heartworm is a part of that thing, too? Yeah, yeah. So Ew. it's like, I know. I hate everything with to do with these things. But yeah, it was uh, it was disgusting. It was very gross. Woo! We don't we don't like it. But yeah, I the bugs. I haven't, I'm trying to think of anything nasty, like in, you know, one of those hot moments. Something happened. Oh, a little sexy time, hot grossness. grossness. You know that. I think she might win the grossest That's... story I've ever heard in my life. Oof. I had my neck mole bitten off <gasps> during. Yeah, I've for sure talked about this before. But yeah, a guy bit my neck mole off and it was like bleeding. That was that was pretty bad. I had a guy's dick smell so bad that I I smelled it before I saw it. <laughs> like we were like he literally was also it's a whole thing but he was choking me and I was choking him it was a whole ordeal and I like as it was happening he like was like ruffling with his other hand to get his penis out and I didn't even see it I just went oh no like you know in the summer when you like uh, a garbage can opens and closes and it takes a second and you're like ooh what is that like that no. waft oh yeah 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 oh yeah bad oh. bad you shower you you rinse you it rinse at it least at least yeah yeah no, no, no. Very gross. Very stink. The, the stink is the worst. I'm trying to think of like something. Yeah, I don't like that stink. I, I remember I, I, there was a, a hookup I had once in New York, and this guy went rock climbing, indoor rock climbing, then he came over, and then oh. it, I was like, the B.O. is insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's like, yeah, I didn't shower. I'm like, this is nasty. No, some guys like the B.O. I don't hate B.O. as much as penis smell. I've yeah. also like, I've been like also like giving a guy head, and I smelled like their butt before. Yeah, the butt. That butt stink. The butt <laughs> you know, the, the butt stink? That, like, sour poo-poo butt. Oh! It's, it's so <laughs> gross. Again, people are going to be getting mad. I'm not saying we don't smell down there. I'm just saying everyone smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a rinse. No, I know. We're all, I, we all should be rinsing it before we start anything. It's just yeah. hygienic. Both of you to rinse. For sure. Yeah. It's gross not to. Wow. <laughs> wow. I've had, like, guys before that have for sure barfed in their mouth and then like or barfed at a bar and then we start like kissing, kissing after and I'm like wait a second did you barf and he's like oh no I'm like you did ew I can taste it I know oh. it's so bad this is what happens when you're single in a city that you hate and you're depressed you do bad things that's true I had that one night one of my first ever hookups in LA I think his name was Brad if you're listening I'm so sorry um I projected out all over his bathroom. And then I went back and finished having sex with him. <laughs> I was like, well, I gotta finish what I started. So I'm gonna go back in there and uh, gotta be get a her trooper. done. Gotta be a trooper. Gotta get her done. It's so gross. Do you have any like crazy, you must have some weird, like you've never saw anything wild in New York happen, like any 911 stories or something from New York City? Because it seems like every time I'm there, I see something. There's something. It's a Yeah, there's a lot going on. Why haven't I... I mean... You're it. sheltered. You're just not noticing every single thing yeah, happening. Yeah, I probably was just thinking of myself and not even... <laughs> I saw somebody downtown Toronto once. Um, it was a haunting. Uh, two homeless people were having sex. Uh-huh. And uh, not, that's not the part. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's comes fine. at me. That was yeah. great. Hey, guess what? Great. It was great. cold winter. Keep yourself warm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but when she got off, I guess... Um, she, it was that time of the month, so his thing was out, and it was um, it was covered in blood. Yeah, 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 and it was just like, well, that I didn't need to see that part of it. <laughs> yeah, the first part, sure. The second part, well, now it's taken a turn here. It's taken a bit of a turn, and I don't like the turn it's taken. It's taken a turn that I hate now, and now I have to go home. I think I was young too. I was like fifteen. I was like to the subway alone. I had to go back down the subway and just Whoa. sit there the whole time. Like, what did I just? What did I just see? Whoa. Yeah. You never called the cops ever. Called the cops. Mm. No. No. No nine one one stories. Well, well, well. 
I can't believe you don't have one story where you're I, like, I, this has changed my life. Like there wasn't like one like, excuse me, there's somebody at my front door. Um, I have a stalker, so I have to check my ring camera once in a while. That's a whole other thing. Um, oh, it's man. it's a nightmare. But um, like one thing, do you want me to give you an example? Yeah, of something? yeah. Okay, well, okay. I know. Maybe I'm not that good at this. No, I think I just think everybody has. I think once I give you be. an example. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So there's okay. my two examples. That okay. I'll, uh, Aaron, can we timestamp these? Because I'm going to edit them out. Um, okay. Uh, my one friend was a nurse. Mm-hmm. And she was um, trained to become a nurse. And uh, a guy came in, or, or a surgeon, a guy came in, and his, he had his penis tourniqueted. Um, he got hit with a softball, and he wrapped it so tightly, tourniqueted himself that he killed it. So she had to go tell his 22-year-old boy that his penis was no longer, and they had to surgically remove it. So he had no penis, just balls. Another, so that was that. See, that was a haunting one. <laughs> Another one, there was a rumor, which I think was real, where a guy would wrap himself up in saran wrap, and then go into a female porta potties and watch women piss and shit on them. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, no, they're not good. They're oh. not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything along those lines, wow. it was like a story that you've just been like, huh? <laughs> I can't believe. I feel like you've just lived like a, a nice little life. Your parents have kept so much away from you. I think they did. But well, why didn't I? Like no one in high school told you a wild thing. Like my parents used to call me in when this like, eye surgery show would come on on TV because they knew I hated it. And I'd come in and I'd be like, what's going on? And I'd be like, ah! And they'd be laughing. And I'm like, that's like, they would do horrible shit like that. Oh my God. No, unfortunately, I don't think I have anything wild Wow. Yet. Yeah, life. okay. But maybe once I do, I'll be like, Steph, bring me back on. <laughs> I got that story. I heard the most nasty. I'm trying to think of like a nasty ass thing that I've heard recently that really rubbed me the wrong way. There's always something. I came across, I, I, I was on Pornhub and I, and I just, I don't know what I pressed. Okay. But but it, 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 it came, you go on there. I took a peek. It came on <laughs> and it was, it was like three penises in one butthole. I, and it, we, we, how? <laughs> it, uh, how did it, the bodies get? It? I, I don't know. I don't know how the guys got that close. First of all, that seems like insane. Yeah. And also, I'm like, how is this woman ever gonna not shit a- everywhere all the time now? Yeah, that thing is really open. It's now. really open now, and I'm seeing like these butt plugs and stuff in there and around, and it's just the butt needs to stay closed. I don't know when the butt became a, an open hole. <sighs> Yeah, it's it's open all the time now. Is everything's everything's gaping and open, and I just close it up. Yeah, that's poop. That's poop. That's the pool. There's poop in there. <laughs> There's poop in there, and the poop wants to stay in there until it's ready to come out. Yeah. Do you use a squatty potty? Are you one of those people? I used to have one of those. Um, I don't know. Did that? Is that a good thing? I think it, it makes me sick. I don't want my knees in my eyes when I'm taking the shit. <laughs> I don't understand the squatty potty. I'm sorry, squatty potty, if you're listening. If you can't, all of a sudden, no one knew how to shit anymore. They're like, bring in this fucking squatter. Like, why do you not know how to shit? I've been shitting for years. I, I, I don't know. all of a sudden not know how to shit and need. No, I, I know how to go. Sometimes I have good ones. Oh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I just, I really want to call people and tell them. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. See a big one. Do you ever take, I have a friend that would take send pictures? photos. Yeah. Look, I, sometimes I think it is. It's amazing. I feel like your phone is littered with disgusting no, photos. No, no, you're I acting like your missus. I've, I've never done anything bad. And then I open your phone and it's just, it's just gaping sad. anuses the entire time. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, right. Little miss, I have no crazy stories. It's you fitting a man's head fully in your asshole. And you're like, what, this? No, no, no. Oh, that was just a Thursday night. No, no, no. Okay, what do you think the funniest way? We'll wrap it up with the final question. Oh, I wish I had more. Dirty no, this things. is fun. we're already at an hour. I mean, we're not going right. to drag it on for five more hours. Yeah, it was a listen. To, what am I, Joe Rogan? Nine hour well, podcast. Let me think about, uh, and then if I have some, I'm, I'll tell you. Okay, okay, okay. We'll okay, do a part okay, two. Okay, we'll something. do a part two. What is the funniest way you could die? Oh, I mean, I actually have a little bit about this. Do you? Yeah, and you I did it a as a sketch. Dude, it was just really? like I want my final words to be Nickelback, and just go. <laughs> I never made it as it was, man. And then, <laughs> um, but did you oh, do it? Oh, I was the- thinking about this. Uh, the uh, this is every I, I, when I go on airplanes. I think the this 
I just sometimes vision, what if the seat in front of me is a little loose that day? And <laughs> when we go take off, I just get smashed and then we, and then that's it. And then you die right there from yeah. just a loose seat. Yeah, in the seat. <laughs> That's going to be in my head now as I fly to fucking Philly in two days. No! I'm going like, to be holding the seat in front of me. <laughs> um, Did you hear about the woman being sucked out of the window on like a Southwest flight? Ooh. She went in the sky? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, she no. wasn't alive when she went in the sky. It's a small hole. But like apparently the window busted. This is like a while ago. Wait, I think I... I do know mm -hmm. about this. And she like the air pressure sucked her body out through the hole and it's it's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. I, I know, think that actually might be the worst. <laughs> but what? Not, it's just also funny it's, to be sucked out. Yeah, it's and a then wild way to die. You're like, well, I guess my seat is open up. <laughs> Especially Aww. if she's like reading the pamphlet where it's like an emergency <laughs> landing. And she's like, <laughs> and she's like oh. yeah, no, I, I, the people around must be haunted. Yeah. yeah people around oh, that they probably have around. a lot of trouble now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're not. They're not sleeping through the night. No. 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 That's scary. Ooh. I gotta talk. Stop talking about the plane stuff because I'm flying too much. This no, is no, no, no. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'll, be, I, I, I'll be fine, right? United Airlines. <laughs> you better fucking keep me safe. <laughs> Melissa, thank you for coming in. Oh my god. Where can the people me. see you? Where can they find you? Oh, yes. You could go to Melissa V Comedy Instagram and uh, melissavsingar.com for tour dates. And I also, well, yeah, I have a podcast. Oh, my book. My book, yes. My book is out. <laughs> Whoops, I'm awesome. And uh, yeah, that's it. And your podcast. And my podcast, Laughing With Myself. There we go. Yeah. All these things. Oh, Thank yeah. you for coming out. Thanks, I will Steph. see you at the store very soon. Yeah. Like and comment. I don't know why. I don't know how to end these things. I'm just like, like oh, and comment. Right, right, right. This is on YouTube now. Yeah, for sure. Subscribe to Step Infection Podcast. Shout out to All Things Comedy, and um, I don't know, that's that. Rate it, rate the podcast. Give me five stars, don't be stupid. Yeah, give her five. That's it. Ta-ta. <laughs> give her five. Ooh. Mm. Squiddly squiddlies. <laughs>